In today's video, I'm going to be showing you two builds to absolutely destroy Director Schmachter. The first build is going to be for people who are playing on mild and medium difficulty, as it isn't too difficult to build and should be able to get you through the fight pretty easily. The second build I'm going to show you is for people playing on woe mode. It's a very difficult build to get, but it is 100% worth using. And if you're struggling on medium or mild, I also recommend the woe build, as it is guaranteed to get you to kill Director Schmachter. That's right. You can 100% kill Director Schmechter every single time with the second build I will show you in this video. This is the build we're going to use for people playing on mild and medium. Let's go through it. We've got a full set of sleek fire ant armor. This is because poison doesn't work against the Director Schmechter. Poison doesn't work against any robot in the game and neither does bleed. So the next best thing is acid damage, which does work against Director Schmechter. So we're going to run this full set of armor so that we can do extra damage with the acid. We're running the power droplet. I know what you're thinking. The power droplet, that's for melee, but yes, we're doing a fist only build. I know, you think I'm crazy, but trust me, you're going to see how good this is, and you're going to wonder why you're not using Fist Only yourself. So we got the Power Droplet. We've got the Shield, obviously, if you're running a Fist Only build, you're going to run a Shield. We're using the Fire Ant Shield, because it can corrode the enemy, which helps fight Director Schmechter. We've got our Heals, which is some Beefy Slop, some Fiber Bandages, and a Spider Slider for that extra crit chance. And then I've got five of each smoothie with um, gum effect on it, so it lasts longer. I do recommend you bring some smoothies, because it's a pretty tough fight. In terms of mutations, we're going to be running Lil Fist. Obviously, I recommend Tier 3 of all of these. We're going to be running Chopper, because this works with the Power Droplet. We've got Barbarian. Again, this works with the Power Droplet. It wouldn't usually work if you don't have the Power Droplet equipped. We have Coupe de Gras Tier 2. And, of course, Truffle Tussle for that explosive damage. If you can't tell already with the chopper mutation and the build in general, the whole point is to stun the absolute living hell out of Director Schmechter so that he can't do anything. It's to stop him from attacking at all for the entire fight. It's not about killing him as quickly as possible. It's about stopping him from doing anything, from any lasers, any summons, everything. Stop it all is the goal. Right, as you can see, we're going to be trying this build on medium difficulty with bugs ignore players off, obviously. First thing you want to do before you go into the fight is drink one of each of the smoothies you collected, obviously. And um, we're also going to use the spider slider and we're going to pop a bandage as well. Then we're going to start the fight. The point of this fight is that you want to be Floyd Mayweather. You want to hit, but not get hit, basically. So as you can see, loads of damage back up. You don't want to get hit by that attack. That attack gives you hyper stamina, which will make it so you recover stamina a lot slower, which is something you really don't want to have happen in this fight. These little attacks he's doing aren't really important. You want to only really go to like half stamina. And if you if you get to half stamina, just wait for it to recover. The only time you want to attack when you're below half stamina is if he starts doing his little laser. Like if he does the little... Um, if he does the attack that has a chance to like do lasers. Like this attack here, you want to attack. Most of the time, you can get him... You can stop him from doing the attack. But if you're unlucky like I was just then, then he's going to get his attack off. And now you're going to have Orb Weavers in the fight with you. Which is not what you want. It's not ideal in the slightest. And you're not going to be able to perfect block very well since we are running Barbarian with the build. Which isn't ideal. Okay, the lasers are here. Speaking of not ideal. Lasers just arrived. Yeah, I can't even block the attack because I'm literally stunned in place. Just drink one of these. Okay, back up. Right, remember, I want my stamina to be high, and I want to make sure he doesn't get any attacks off whenever I can. Okay, stop him, stop him, stop him. See, we stopped him from getting his last attack off. He got off two things, I think, that entire time, right? One set of lasers and one set of orb weavers. And I hit him so often that he couldn't do any more attacks. All he was doing was his little electric ball attacks. Because I wasn't really focused on stopping them. So what you want to do, like I said, stamina bar's full, you're punching him, you're punching him, you're punching him. Stamina bar gets to half, you stop, recover your stamina. Unless he does that attack where he goes up in the air and sticks his fist into the ground, then you go all in on him and hope that you can stun him and stop the attacks. That's the best way to kill him on medium difficulty, is just ultra stun. 
For the second build in the video, this is for people playing on WoW mode or people really struggling to beat Schmechter. This is what you're going to need. First off, I've got a bunch of smoothies here. They're all sticky. These are the same smoothies we were using in the last build. It's just good to have them if you're really, really struggling. Then we have a Prod Smacker level 9. Now, you don't need to level this up because the stun is already maxed out regardless of what level it is. But it does help if you level it up for that extra damage. You're going to need a full set of level 9 sleek Black Ox armor. This does need to be level 9, as you need the sleek bonus effect called Quick Charge, which lets charged attacks charge up quicker. I also recommend you use Thor's Pendant, and this is just a great overall equipable. We also have Beefy Slop for heals, Bandages for heals, and the Spider Slider to increase your critical chance. For mutations, we're going to be using Barbarian as it increases club damage. We're going to be using Buff Lungs for extra stamina. Coupe de Gras for increased critical hit chance. Cardio Fan so your stamina recovers quicker. And Trapper Peeper for that increased critical damage. You'll see we're not running any mutations to reduce the damage we take, as we don't need them. As you can see in the game settings here, we're on WoW difficulty. Bugs Ignore Players is now off. Player damage is on. And Stamina Drain is on. I'm not going to turn on Hunger or Thirst Drain because it doesn't really matter once you eat the meal anyway. I guess we can put Equipment Durability on, but it won't really make a difference. Let's see if we can beat Schmechter very first try, shall we? Let's go for it. Right. We're going to summon Schmechter. We're going to eat our meal, pop a bandage. And all you're going to do, just copy me. Charged attack. Charged attack. Charged attack. Every time you do a charged attack, it stuns Schmechter. As long as you never, ever miss an attack, Schmechter will never, ever attack. This is why I said this is an 100% guaranteed time. This, yeah, basically it's an 100% guaranteed chance to beat Schmechter. Like, he can't attack, okay? I don't know what more I can do for you guys. I recommend you do this ASAP because this is going to get patched. I'm telling you, for a fact, they will patch this. Those ants are not supposed to be in this boss fight. That is, um, yeah, you want to make sure you clear those guys out so they don't come into the boss fight. That's really annoying, actually. One second. See, and now he's going to ruin my boss fight, bro. The ants really do ruin everything, don't they? But yeah, he doesn't get a single attack off as long as there's no ants. The ants actually aren't spawned in by Schmechter. They glitch through the walls from the little... Um, storage areas nearby and they're not supposed to be able to get into the boss fight but yeah i really recommend if you do use this that you do it asap because this is getting patched like this is in no way intentional i don't think it's not supposed to be this op basically the way it works is every single time you do a charged attack with this weapon it gives a like special shockwave effect the shockwave effect will stun an enemy guaranteed meaning this build will stun schmechter every time and he can't get an attack off quick enough in between your attacks because of the quick charge from the Black Ox armor. Which leaves you with a boss fight that is really, really easy. The only time he has enough time to get an attack is when you're recovering stamina. But if you take a couple of extra seconds sometimes between attacks, you actually start to recover stamina anyway. So you'll actually never run out of stamina. You'll see, my stamina is about half right now. I take a couple seconds, it regens. Always try and keep it around that halfway marker. Because you don't want it to get too close to running out. But always make sure Schmechter doesn't get an attack off. Obviously here I have all my milk molars and stuff spent. Um, or actually I don't have them all spent. I have quite a lot of them spent. But not everything's maxed out. Um, oh see that time he actually did get an attack off. The only one that you don't want him to get off. Is the big ball electric attack. Because if you get hit with that hyper stamina. It will actually reduce the rate at which your stamina recovers. Which will be really difficult. Also you obviously don't want him to get those laser attacks off. Because he could summon in things like lasers. He could summon in orb weaver. Um, or orb weaver juniors. And you really don't those, want those in the boss fight. Because those make it just 100 times harder to kill him right. Now obviously this takes a long time. Because Schmechter isn't weak to this weapon. Um, but he's also not resistant because it is just a club. But that Barbarian would be a little bit of extra damage. You've, uh, I actually didn't drink any of the smoothies, which means I'm a, a dumb. The smoothies aren't necessary, but um, they do help massively. You can see Schmechter's got not that much health left, but he's, he's got like a third of his health, maybe a quarter. But yeah, the smoothies aren't even necessary, but I still recommend them, especially Liquid Rage. Otherwise, the fight does take a while, like you can see here. This fight is... Um, 
it's taken a while, but have I been hit? I think I've been hit once, and I also got hit by the, um, the ants, but just make sure when you go into the arena, go over to the corners, make sure there's no ants glitched inside. They're not supposed to be in the arena. As I say, they just glitch through from the um, containment units outside, so they're not supposed to be able to get me, but um, the game, the game, you know, the game's the game. What can I say? That's the way it works in Grounded sometimes. Things glitch out. Obviously, this isn't sour, and you can't make this weapon elemental, but you need to use this weapon for the stun effect, and you need to use the Black Ox armor for the... Um, for the quick charge, otherwise this build doesn't work. But I promise you, use this build, you are guaranteed to kill Schmechter 100% of the time. Just wait, they're going to patch this, okay? They're 100% gonna patch it, so go and kill Schmechter right now. This is the best build in the world for killing him, trust me. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. Thank you so much to Max Fox Gaming, who streams Grounded on Twitch a lot. You probably know who he is if you watch a lot of Grounded. He actually gave me the idea of using this build for the Woe Mode one. And this thing is nutty. You need to use it if you're really struggling with Schmechter. I 100% recommend you use it. Please leave a like on the video if you do enjoy the build. This um, was good fun to make, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to use it, and it is definitely getting patched. And I'll see you in the next Grounded video. Have a great rest of your day.